He deserves more respect than what y'all give from some NWA stuff that he did 35 years ago. This dude is still out here doing it, man. He don't get the props like Jay-Z, 50 Cent, and Puffy. Like, this dude has a whole basketball league, man. He's an innovator, man. Cube is a genius. All right, much respect portion. We going, man. We going hip hop. I gotta put some hip hop every every week on this, man. So this one, I'm going Ice Cube, man. Like we don't need no respect. No, you kind of forget about Ice Cube. This guy's been around forever. And that's what made me think of. Him. He's been around for 35 years, easy. And you thinking that he left NWA, he'd never work again. But yo, he's doing it, man. Born June 15, 1969. Ice Cube, O.C. Jackson, man. Zone writer, actor, film producer, director as well. Rap career started in um, 1986. He was 16 years old, man. He was a group CIA. At 16, he wrote the song Boys in the Hood, gave it to Eric Wright, made the masterpiece. It's, it's incredible. Upon Boys in the Hood, Ice Cube, Easy E, MC Ren, DJ Yella, Dr. Dre, started the group in WA, and then history was made. So Ice Cube wrote Easy E song, but everybody wrote Easy E song. <laughs> like it was a whole joint effort. It was DOC, Ice Cube, MC Ren. Said Ice Cube writes the rhymes that I say. So that's what I'm going with. Straight out of Compton, classic. He wrote Easy Does It, classic. He got tired. Ice Cube like, man, I'm tired of y'all, man. I'm gone, man. I'm about to get, do my thing. Y'all ain't paying right over here. Y'all want me to sign this tonight, man? No, I'm gone. So he left, goes to New York, joined with the Bomb Squad, PE, Make America's Most Wanted, which is one of the greatest rap albums of all time. Then he comes back to L.A., does Death Chief in 91. Then he does The Predator in 92. Then he does Lethal Injection in 93. This dude was like everywhere. He waiting for the Cube album every year. He like, you know what, man? I'm going to do movies now. He did movies after that. He jumped in Boys in the Hood, 92. Glass Shield, 94. Friday, 95. He does Higher Learning, 95. He does Anaconda, 97. And then his directorial debut, The Players Club, drops. Cube was like, yo, I still not done. I'm going to do them both at the same time for the rest of my damn life <laughs> to this point. This dude's been dropping albums and movies damn near every year. He has not been out of our, our peripheral in a long time, man. Like, even a couple of years ago, he joined forces with Too Short, E-40, and Snoop Dogg to join the Mount Westmore collaboration out, man. That's crazy, man. But he like, I'm still not done. So in 2017, he decides to make the Big Three Basketball League. The Big Three Basketball League is formed for old you NBA players. Now they have, like, people that didn't make the league, and they get in there, and then you got guys like Clyde Drexler that helped him. I think he's, like, the vice president, and Dr. J's the coach, and, and, like, he has a whole thing on his own. So Cube never stops working, bro. And I admire that, man. So he deserves more respect than what y'all give from some NWA stuff that he did 35 years ago. This dude is still out here doing it, man. Almost 40 years in the game. He don't get the props like Jay-Z, 50 Cent, and Puffy. Like, this dude has a whole basketball league, man. He's an innovator, man. Cube is a genius. I love Ice Cube, man. So, yo, he deserves this. So much respect. O'Shea Jackson. Ice Cube. Yay, yay. Respect, dude. We out.